Hello and welcome to part 3 of Nez's Kingdom Rush playthrough. I nearly said FTL there, but this is indeed Kingdom Rush, so we're going to dive straight into the Twin Rivers. Not literally, just figuratively. We're not going to go and drown in this rapid flowing river here. So anyway, enemy troops are marching from the east through Stonecliff Mountains. This can only mean that our kingdom's capital is in peril. Our scouts conclude that the best place to stop our enemy's advance is at the Twin Rivers Pass. I'm not one to argue with our scouts, so we'll go straight to battle. Uh, we can now have level 3 towers it seems. That's pretty groovy. So yeah. Oh, we've got this guy as well. We've got Sir Gerald. He's basically um, he's basically a paladin. Um, he's a bit of an ass kicker, so we'll uh, see him kick some ass in this video. Now I think what we'll do straight away is we'll have maybe a archery tower here, a barracks there, a barracks here and an archery tower here, and a wizard's tower here, and then I think we'll put a wizard's tower there as well. And our first wave will consist of 10 goblins and 3 arcs. This should be pretty easy pickings for Sir Gerald, but we'll put some peasant farmers out to help him just in case. And uh, yeah, away we go. So this is wave 1 of 13. There's plenty of sheep here, but we're not going to kill any. Killed enough sheep in that last video. I think we should leave them to survive for a while. Otherwise we'll no ha we'll, we'll no have, we'll no have, we'll have no sheep left. They'll become extinct. And uh, we don't really want that. Because then we'd have no method of getting wool. We'd have no lamb chops. Not that I'm a huge fan of lamb anyway. But um... You know, some people in the realm like that, so, yeah. So, Gerald, stop just standing around. Well, you're too late. They've already, the peasant farmers and our little barracks guys have already cleansed this land. Useless paladin. I'm only joking. You're going to kick that ark's ass. So, yeah, we're going to drop some peasants there. Um, yeah, this is actually a pretty easy wave, I suppose. Especially since we've got a couple of wizards, just in case any arcs do get past. We'll uh, be able to pierce their armour. We'll just hold that arc up there so that the archery tower and the wizard can whittle away his health. Uh, so Gerald's just kicking some. Look at how quickly he deals with goblins. It's literally one, maybe two hits of that. Uh, what's the next wave? Oh, 20 goblins and a shaman. I think we'll risk it and we'll call that in early. And in the meantime, we'll upgrade our tower further. So now we've got level 3. Uh, melee fighters here, warriors I suppose you could call them. Right, let's uh... In fact, I want you, Sir Gerald, to be fighting that shaman and get rid of him fairly quickly. So I think we'll put another barracks here, just to hold up any arcs that do slip through here. Sir Gerald, go and deal with that shaman. Alright, ah, there's another one there. Uh, next wave is 20 goblins. I'm going to actually call that in now. It's not as if there's anything particularly dangerous there. So Gerald, you go up there and help. You hold these up. And we will drop... Five meteors. That killed about 10 or 12 of them, so that was well worth it in my opinion. A decent trade-off. So Gerald, you get back to the front lines, my friend. How much does it cost to upgrade and add to an adder tower? 160. We'll save up for that, I think. So Gerald's just slaughtering goblins. Bashing his shield. Because we know that all... All really tough melee fighters like to smash the sword against the shield as a show of might. I regularly do that when I'm fighting in, in melee combats in, in my fantasy world. Just uh, take my sword, smash it against the shield, yell a few few profanities and then uh, get my ass kicked. But yeah, it's all good. So Sir Gerald is literally <laughs> cutting through these. Why are you blocking? Just hit it. It's a, it's a goblin. You don't need to block against the goblin. You just hit it once and it dies. So, uh, yeah, it's a lovely day in my wonderful little town. And here I am in a completely different world, protecting a realm from these bad guys here. Oh, this is prime time for this meteor. Prime time. Take that. I'm going to drop some more peasants in. I've got to say, out of all the units in the game, clearly the most OP is definitely the peasant farmers. Oh, six bandits. Bandits! We've never had bandits before, I don't believe. New enemy. Bandits. Swift and agile, they can dispatch their enemies very quickly. Fast speed, very high damage, can dodge melee attacks. These seem pretty nasty. They, they must have some form of weakness, like maybe they've got really low health. But it doesn't matter, because we've, uh, we've got Sir Gerald 
dealing with those guys. We'll upgrade our, our towers here, I think. Because we don't really want these getting through. In fact, you come up here and help them. Then we can come back and deal with this later on. Oh, man. Yeah, the, the wizard's actually dealing with them fairly well. Wolves. These are the little bleeders who got through last time against me. Well, not this time. Not this time. I actually thought they were going to get through then for a second, but not this time. So we're going to Oh, that was terribly placed. My mouse slipped as I was placing that, but I suppose it still killed a few. Now here's where there's quite a few wolves coming and we need to deal with these fairly quickly. Very quickly, rather. Oh, the mage is kicking ass. Ah, oh, yeah, I forgot we upgraded him. Where's Sir Gerald? Oh, he's just chilling out there. Go and help. Go and flame in help. Who's Bri Bryce? Bryce the peasant. Who's this guy? Alter. What about you? Garrett? <gasps> Thief. Peyton. What about this dude? Gerald. That's Gerald. You're, you're Gerald. Oh crap, an ogre. Hadrian. Land Lando. Mr. Calrissian. No, you get back over there! So Gerald's actually doing my tree in now. Uh, I think we'll upgrade this, uh, this tower here. Maybe upgrade this further. We're doing a fairly fairly decent job, I suppose, at the minute. So Gerald is kicking ass. This ogre's just like gone down. Just now. Unbelievably quickly. Don't bash your shield. Get in there and fight. God, it feels like having a having a flaming what do you call them now? Cyber pet again. What Tamagotchi things. Just like constantly having to tell it to do things it should know to do anyway. So Gerald Lightseeker or whatever his name is. Reinforce! The Paladin Cyber Pet. Oh, I wish I had my meteor to drop there. That was that was a uh, prime time. Prime time is going to be my new uh, word for when there's a, a great opportunity to use the meteor shower. So yeah, this is going actually fairly seamlessly at the minute. I say that now, no doubt. A flaming 300 foot long dragon will fly in a minute. I wonder if there are dragons in this game. That'd be a pretty interesting dynamic. Go and fight! I keep forgetting. I suppose it's my fault, but I'm going to blame him anyway. And as he gets there, an arrow takes out the last enemy. Yeah, typical. We've got a load of gold, so I suppose we can upgrade a few more towers. Maybe put out another archery tower here. Uh, I could, we could do with a bombard at some point, I suppose, but I don't actually see the need at the minute. Prime time. One. Good night. Oh, forget it. The stupid eye. They're just too sheepy. Job done. Oh, look how many shamans there are there. Uh, so Gerald's actually doing something without me telling him to do it for once. So I was good there. We'll upgrade that archer tower. Uh, what else can we upgrade? Let's upgrade that archery tower too. We'll call these in early for a bonus of about 3p. Okay, so we've got some more. Oh, are these? Are these bandits? No, these are brigands, armored outlaws that can withstand a lot of punishment. Average speed and medium armor. Medium? Medium armor. I don't know why I said medium. Um, yeah, so these, these seem to be a jack of all trades, master of F all. So uh, hopefully, we'll be able to withstand these guys fairly simply. Put some peasants there. They fight, they fight bravely, to be fair to them. They've no chance, but they always fight bravely. I feel kind of sorry for them, if I'm honest. Uh, so Gerald, you get up there and fight those. We'll call these in early. Our meteor shower is primed, so... We will drop it. I think we'll time this right and right get a couple of five seconds waves. Ah, oh, nearly. Still worth a try. We've got a load of gold left, so we'll upgrade those further. I think all that happened there is their archery towers now have spikes. Under oh, and they have pointier helmets. They try to impersonate elves because everyone knows elves are really good archers. These guys are clearly trying to impersonate elves. But they're not doing a really good job of it, in the honest, because 
you know, elves wouldn't fight from towers with their with their bows. They'd be like down and like leg lassing it, charging up and down elephants and back flipping over houses and jumping in and out of bays of hail and eating fish whilst they whilst he fire a bow with one hand. Oh no, uh, bombardier! Oh crap! I'm not got enough. Bombard! There we go. Yeah, and you know, generally, elves are so awesome that they can fire bows with one hand. So, yeah. Imagine that, actually being able to fire a bow, as in a bow and arrow, not a crossbow, with one hand. You'd have to be super dexterous. Prime time! Ah, that wasn't too great, to be honest. Not to do, not to worry. Uh. Uh, I want to upgrade that other wizard tower. I'm a huge fan of the wizards in this game. They just they just strike me as really cool. Can we afford, yeah, we can afford it. So we're gonna take out these last few brigands, and I think I think that's gonna be the game. Oh no, we've got two shamans in four shamans in coming to spoil the party. No biggie. So Gerald will cut through them. Look how quick he deals with the shaman. Stop smashing your shield! I know it's. I think it's a buff, yeah. I think it's a buff for the guys around him. But it's really annoying when there's like two enemies left and you smashing your shield and they just want him to cave their skulls in so that can finish the level. And I think, yes, that is the end of the, the level. So victory, three more stars. No one got through. We'll continue. We'll spend our stars. And then we'll call the end of the episode. So we'll go into our upgrades room. So we've got three. Uh, I'm a huge fan of the meteors, as everyone knows now. So they set the ground on fire. They set the ground on fire. Yes. Two stars spent there, and we'll buy this as well to increase the marksman attack range. And we're done. We're done. And yeah, thanks for watching again. I apologise I'm a bit quieter today because um, I've got to be quiet because there's people uh, who, well, I don't really need to be quiet, I suppose I could just like be like, yeah, screw you, I'm going to be as loud as I want, but I'm trying to be respectable, there's other people in, and I don't want to disturb them, so uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and bye, bye-bye.